Hi, this is a walkthrough for deploying Loop to any of your users or new profiles. If at any time you need help deploying Loop to the users or profiles, you can always look up our documentation by selecting Help for this page on the DDPs object. This will direct you to our support page for Loop document services. In this page, there is a link where you can view documentation or video for deploying Loop. Within the documentation, we provide several steps to getting your users deployed and also provide you with images that show you what DDP users need and what DDP admins need. So the first step to deploying loop document services to your users is making sure that the objects are actually deployed and not in development. You can check this by going to your Salesforce setup selecting create, choosing your objects view, and then just ensuring that every object related to the installed loop package has deployed checked. If it's in development, the deployed field will be unchecked. You need to make sure that all objects related to loop have the deployed field checked. The next step is ensuring that your new profile or user has the appropriate field level security and this is managed on the user's profile. The best way to ensure this is to go to the manage users option, select users, find the user you're trying to deploy loop to, select that user's profile and then scroll down to the field level security section. For each loop custom object you need to select view and ensure that all fields are visible to that profile. And if you need a list of all custom objects that Loop installs with its package, you can always go back to the documentation and view the images that detail which objects your users will need access to. As a next step, you also need to edit the profile, go down to custom object permissions, and ensure that they have at least read access to all the objects that are installed with the loop package. Giving them only read access will just let them run DDPs. If you want DDP administrators who can create, delete, and edit DDPs, you'll need to give them read, create, and edit writes. Also on the profile, you need to enable the appropriate Visual Force pages. Navigate down to the Visual Force pages related list or select the link at the top of the page that says Enabled Visual Force Page Access and choose to edit the page. DDP users need access to all of the loop.visualforce pages. If you see any on the left side, under Available Visual Force Pages, you need to add them to the right side where it says Enabled Visual Force Pages. As a final step, you need to ensure that the share settings are correct. Navigate to Security Controls, select the Share Settings link, and just make sure that any of the objects installed by Loop are not private. You can choose either public read only or public read write, but private will limit the DDP objects to certain users. 
Once all those steps are completed, your users should have access to DDPs as long as their profile is on the security section of at least one DDP. If you do not see their profile in the security section of any DDP, you need to select profiles, then drag and drop their profile to the set security section of the DDP page. Once you have completed all of these steps, your users should be able to run DDPs. Thank you.